Okay, unfortunately, I'm not in my normal location, but I just finished watching The Bad Batch and I needed to do a review. As a diehard Clone Wars enthusiast, diving into The Bad Batch was an eagerly anticipated journey. Visually, it's a marvel. The animation, it's breathtaking, crisp. However, my excitement it fizzled soon into frustration as the storyline unfolded. The, the pacing felt off and everything unfolded with frustrating ease, devoid of tension or stakes. Especially the third season. That felt like it dragged on at a snail's pace, meandering towards a predictable conclusion, and it just felt too neatly tied up. Contrast this with the tightly woven narrative of X-Men 97 and the filler episodes, they just become more glaring. My biggest gripe? The lack of risk. No one ever truly faces the Grim Reaper, rendering a resemblance of danger null and void. It's as if the series exists solely to hawk merchandise and spawn spin-offs, leaving viewers emotionally detached from the main characters' fates. As I know many of you are thinking, but Tech, and I'm just going to say, but Ventress. I mean, I'm not convinced yet that Tech's not going to be back in some Omega spin-off series. In the end, the Bad Batch feels like a forgettable footnote in the Star Wars saga. While it may entertain in the moment, it lacks a depth and lasting impact that would warrant a rewatch in bragging rights. Unless you're a true diehard Star Wars aficionado, the series is not going to make you one. Have you seen? Will you watch? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob E. And this is Attack on Show.